All right, in this episode of Doc's Eye TV, we're back sight fishing redfish, and we're using the Mega Matrix again. This will be in the Matrix Bait Box for this upcoming month for all of our Matrix Bait Box subscribers. Now, what I'm going to do is show you, and this is a true story, the two lures that John and I used on this episode and the previous one that you saw a few weeks ago, we used the same exact two lures on the same exact hook. We did not lose one lure, and we were lucky we didn't break off any reds, so we had the same hook. And this is one of the reasons why we uh, only had to use one lure for two episodes. These corkscrew hooks right here that we're going to be giving out in this Matrix bait box, they really hold these Matrix Mega Matrixes on. And what we do with them is it pushes through and they actually screw onto the hook just like a regular screw that goes into a piece of wood and you screw it on and get it straight and that is your product right there and they will last a long 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 time I, I can't even count how many redfish we caught on these two lures on two episodes, at least 10 per person each day, probably 20, I mean 10 per person in two episodes, probably 20 redfish were hooked on one lure and it just stood up and never tore up. Incredible. If you can see that on film, the little school of two of them coming out from a little creek entering, two, uh, connecting two little duck ponds. I just threw at both of them and they both charged it. One of them got it. Pretty good fish, pretty good fish. in the future when sight fishing red just because it really puts out a lot of vibration I'm really excited to put these things to the test whenever the, some nice trout show back up I know it's gonna work as the redfish seem to love it we're making this in all of our matrix shared colors and if you watch 
a lot of our previous episodes on red fishing in the marsh, you know that I love tiger bait, matrix shad, when fishing reds in the marsh. And that's what I'm using, the four inch mega matrix tiger bait. Seeing a lot of pogies in here. Obviously a matrix shad is a pogie imitation. These redfish are chomping it up. And again, like I said before, it's not too grassy. So using a open face jig head, I can get away with it in the ponds. Just like that. It's on a 3 8 ounce too. I like a little bit of weight when I'm sight fishing. That way when you see the red and you put it in front of it, you can get it, you can just drop it and get it to the bottom fast. Get their attention. They're typically looking down. Let's see if we can get another one. One riding it close, close. He's not a very big fish. I don't see him. He will in a second. He's coming. Let's see. He's barely moving at us. You should be able to pick him up now. Oh, I still don't see him. Oh yeah, I see him. Fish on! Today, as we put the matrix crawls up, and we're going with our new matrix mega matrix. It's not terribly grassy, water's real high, and they love this thing. We usually use the matrix crawl when it's super grassy or we're on in a handful of bass, too. But if it's pure redfish and the grass isn't overwhelming, it's a great swim bait for sight fishing reds. On that one, we saw the fish a few times tailing way far away from the boat. I'm not sure if the camera really picked the fish up. That was a pretty long cast. Got his attention with the Mega Matrix and the Tiger Bait, and he chomped it up. Reggie all scared. <laughs> what was that, Reg?
Right in the side of the jaw where it's supposed to be. Tiger bait, mega matrix. And what you saw right there on that clip, and the way you want to do this, unless you can really, really pitch that bait good and make a super soft presentation, you want to cast a little bit past the fish, rail it to him, and drop it. And the reason you want to cast past the fish is because when it hits the water, he's not gonna hear that splash. If you throw right on him and the lure hits the water loud, it will spook him almost every time. So you throw it right past him like I did there, rail it to him, get his attention, drop it, whatever, jig it, and nine out of 10 times, they will attack that bait. And they like that mega matrix with that big paddle tail. Straight. Double him up. There was another one with mine. Try to triple out there. <laughs> Stay up here, John. I know. I just had to get him. He went behind the engine. Oh, I lost mine. <clears throat> we had a double air. Mine came off, so we're gonna go ahead and net John's here. I mean, it's just been a great day. Sight fishing this beautiful res with that Mega Matrix. Great combination. Sunlight. Clean ponds. Get up on the stand. Swim that Mega Matrix right in front of their nose. guys i'm out here with chaz today shooting a dockside live video um, we are using the mega matrix um, as you've seen from the last episode um, i'm still using the same um, bait that i was before i've been using the lemon head as you can see it's ate up i would call it at least 20 fish each on this um, chaz has been using the tiger bait mega matrix same thing you can see how chewed up um, i guess i've been putting some hurting on him because his isn't as bad as mine but we'll see um, this is the fish we just put in um, great fish they jump on this uh, I'm a big swim bait fan this is a uh, one you have to have in your arsenal man this is great um, just continue to watch these episodes and we'll try to teach you some stuff there comes one right out the grass Hi guys, 
right there. That's how you do it. That was like a Drew Brees slant pattern. That fish came shooting out the grass and he was moving pretty fast. So I had, I had a very short window to make the right cast. I had to lead him. My lure's coming this way, fish is swimming this way. We met head on. That's the hardest part about red fishing, or sight fishing, is when they're moving around, you're trying to hit a moving target and try to put that lure inside of a, a bucket. So it can be kind of tricky, but once you master it, it is extremely fun. And I just love it. Um, most of the time, once we get in October, our main focus is to target speckled trout. But right now I'm burning up. We're getting into about 10 o'clock and we're in October and it's still 90 degrees every day. We're just not getting any cool fronts. And that's what trout like this time of year to transition into our interiors and you know, where we can start catching them on a regular basis. But as it stays 90 degrees every day, we'll stay sight fishing these every day. And right now we're using the mega matrix that we've shown all day. So make sure to subscribe to all of our Dockside TV episodes. If you're eager to see trout, check out some videos from last year. Stay tuned for the ones that will be coming up this year. And make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bake Box that's going to be full of these brand new Mega Matrix Shads that you subscribers will get before the stores do. Until next time, good fishing.